Protein. Protein powder is the most popular supplement in fitness. At its core, it's just a concentrated form of protein, usually made from whey, casein, soy, peas, or other sources. The point is simple. It gives your body the building blocks it needs to repair and grow muscle. Instead of sitting down to eat a mountain of chicken or 20 eggs, you can mix a scoop with water or milk and get the same result in seconds. There are different types. Whey protein digests quickly, making it a good post-workout option. Casein digests slowly, so it's better before bed if you want a steady release. Plant-based proteins are alternatives for those avoiding dairy. Then you have isolates and concentrates. Isolates are filtered to remove most fats and carbs, while concentrates keep a bit more of the extras. The benefits are straightforward. Faster recovery, steady support for muscle growth, and an easy way to hit daily protein targets. But there are some risks too. Overdoing it can cause bloating and stomach issues, especially if you're lactose intolerant. And some powders are loaded with added sugars or cheap fillers, so it pays to check the label. Protein powder is versatile beyond shakes. You can add it to oatmeal, pancakes, or baked goods to sneak extra protein into your meals. And no, you don't need to chug a shake within five minutes of finishing your workout. The body has a much wider recovery window than that. Creatine. Creatine is one of the most researched and reliable supplements in fitness. It's a compound naturally found in your muscles that helps regenerate ATP, the main energy currency your body uses for quick, explosive movements. In simple terms, creatine acts like a backup battery. When your muscles run out of immediate energy during heavy lifts or sprints, creatine steps in to recharge them, allowing you to push a little harder and squeeze out extra reps. The most common form is creatine monohydrate. It's inexpensive, well-studied, and highly effective. Other forms like HCL or ethyl ester exist, but research consistently shows monohydrate does the job just fine. A standard dose is 3 to 5 grams per day, and it works best when taken consistently, not just before workouts. No need to cycle it, and timing isn't critical. You can take it whenever it fits your routine. Benefits include increased strength, better endurance in short, high-intensity activities, and faster recovery between sets. Creatine also pulls water into muscle cells, making them look fuller and supporting the processes that build new muscle. As for risks, it is very safe for healthy individuals. The main issue is mild bloating or water retention, which some people mistake for fat gain. Drinking enough water helps reduce that. Myths about kidney damage or baldness aren't supported by research. Unless you already have existing conditions or a genetic predisposition, creatine isn't the culprit. Fun fact, to get 5 grams of creatine from food, you'd need to eat over 2 pounds of beef or nearly 4 pounds of chicken in one day. A scoop of powder is a lot easier. Pre-workout. Pre-workout supplements are designed to give you a quick boost of energy, focus, and endurance before training. They usually contain a mix of ingredients like caffeine for energy, beta-alanine for reducing fatigue, and nitric oxide boosters like citrulline malate for better blood flow and muscle pump. Think of it as flipping a switch from tired to fully charged. You take it before the gym, and within minutes, you're ready to push harder than usual. Unlike creatine, which builds up in your system over time, pre-workout works almost immediately. That's why many people describe it as rocket fuel for the gym. The effect, however, is temporary. Once the session ends, so does the extra boost. The benefits are clear. More energy, sharper focus, improved endurance, and bigger pumps. For athletes who train early in the morning or after a long workday, pre-workout can make the difference between dragging through a session and hitting it with intensity. The downsides mostly come from overstimulation. Too much caffeine can cause jitters, anxiety, or a hard crash afterward. High doses can also raise blood pressure or cause heart palpitations. It's important to check the label. Some formulas are loaded with stimulants far beyond what most people tolerate. Also, using pre-workout every single day can build dependence or tolerance, making it less effective over time. Flavors range from standard fruit punch and blue raspberry to more experimental options that sometimes taste questionable. Best practice? Try a single serving before committing to a large tub, and definitely don't mix pre-workout with milk. That's a mistake you only make once. Amino acids. 
Branched chain amino acids are a group of three essential amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. They're called essential because your body can't produce them on its own. You need to get them from food or supplements. In fitness, they are popular because they help fuel muscles during workouts, reduce muscle breakdown, and support faster recovery. Think of them as the body's on-the-spot building blocks. When you're lifting heavy or training hard, they step in to protect your muscles from being broken down for energy. They also play a role in reducing fatigue, helping you train a bit longer and recover a bit faster. They come in powders, capsules, or ready-to-drink bottles, often mixed with electrolytes or glutamine for added recovery support. Many athletes sip on them during workouts, especially if they're training fasted or going through a calorie deficit. The benefits include reduced muscle soreness, improved endurance, and protection from muscle loss. But the catch is this. If you're already eating enough protein from whole foods or shakes, you might already be getting plenty of them. For those people, supplementing doesn't add much. As for risks, they're generally very safe, but high doses can sometimes cause stomach discomfort. The bigger risk is spending money on something you don't actually need if your diet is already protein-rich. Glutamine. Glutamine is the most abundant amino acid in your body, and it plays a central role in recovery, immune function, and gut health. During intense training, glutamine levels can drop, which is why athletes sometimes supplement it to speed up the recovery process. Think of glutamine as your body's repair crew, patching up muscle damage, supporting your immune defenses, and getting you ready for the next workout. It works a bit differently than the essential amino acids. While those are more about preventing muscle breakdown during a workout, glutamine focuses on recovery afterward. It helps repair muscle tissue, reduces soreness, and supports overall immune health, which can be especially helpful during periods of hard training when your body is under stress. Glutamine is available as a powder or in capsules, and it usually has a neutral taste that mixes easily with shakes or other drinks. This makes it easy to stack with other supplements without ruining the flavor. The benefits include faster recovery, reduced muscle soreness, stronger immune support, and even improved gut health. Risks are minimal, but taking very high doses can sometimes cause stomach discomfort. Interesting fact, glutamine is so effective at supporting recovery that it's commonly used in hospitals to help patients heal from surgery or serious illness. That gives you an idea of how important it is for tissue repair and immune strength. Omega-3. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fats that the body can't produce on its own, which means you need to get them from food or supplements. The most common source is fish oil, but they can also come from krill oil or plant-based algae supplements. Omega-3s play a key role in heart health, brain function, reducing inflammation, and keeping your joints moving smoothly. Think of them as the lubricant that keeps the body's systems running without grinding down. The three main types are EPA, DHA, and ALA. EPA and DHA, which are found in fish and marine sources, are the most beneficial for cardiovascular and cognitive health. ALA, found in plant sources like flaxseed, can be converted into EPA and DHA, but the process is inefficient, which is why fish oil and algae-based supplements are often preferred. The benefits are wide-ranging lower inflammation, better joint health, improved brain performance, and long-term cardiovascular protection. For athletes, omega-3s can reduce soreness and help with mobility, which is important for consistent training. Risks are generally low. Taking too much fish oil can cause digestive issues, a fishy aftertaste, or, in rare cases, thinning of the blood. Typical recommended doses range from 1 to 3 grams daily. Flavored capsules or emulsified liquids can help mask the taste for those who don't enjoy the fishy flavor. In short, omega-3s don't give you an immediate pump or burst of energy, but they're one of the best long-term investments for overall health and athletic performance. Minerals. Minerals are the quiet workhorses of the body. While vitamins usually get the spotlight, minerals are just as critical for performance and health. They regulate muscle function, bone strength, energy production, hydration, and even your nervous system. Without them, basic processes in your body wouldn't run smoothly. There are two main groups, major minerals and trace minerals. Major minerals include calcium, magnesium, and potassium, needed in higher amounts for strong bones, muscle contractions, and energy metabolism. 
Trace minerals like iron and zinc are required in smaller amounts, but they're still vital. Iron helps transport oxygen in your blood, while zinc supports hormone function and recovery. The benefits of adequate mineral intake include stronger bones, better hydration, reduced cramping, steady energy, and improved sleep quality. For example, magnesium is especially important for athletes because it helps relax muscles and supports recovery. Deficiencies can cause problems ranging from fatigue and poor performance to cramps and weakened bones. However, overdoing mineral supplements can be just as harmful. Too much calcium can affect the kidneys, excess magnesium can upset digestion, and high levels of iron can be toxic. For most people, a balanced diet, leafy greens, whole grains, nuts, seeds, lean meats, and dairy covers mineral needs without supplementation. Supplements are only necessary if you're lacking due to diet, heavy training, or medical reasons. Vitamins. Vitamins are organic compounds that keep your body running at full capacity. They're involved in countless processes, energy production, immune function, tissue repair, and even keeping your bones strong. Without them, your body simply can't perform at its best. There are two main categories. Fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, are stored in your body's fat and used as needed. Water-soluble vitamins, the B-complex group and vitamin C, aren't stored in large amounts, so they need to be replenished regularly through food or supplements. Each vitamin has its own role. Vitamin D supports bone health and muscle strength. Vitamin C aids tissue repair and immune defense. B vitamins fuel energy metabolism. Vitamin A helps vision and cell growth. Vitamin E works as an antioxidant. And vitamin K supports blood clotting and bone integrity. The benefits include better recovery, stronger immunity, improved performance, and long-term health. For athletes, vitamins make sure the body can keep up with the demands of intense training. Risks mainly come from overdosing, especially with fat-soluble vitamins that accumulate in the body. Too much vitamin A, D, E, or K can cause toxicity. For most people, eating a varied diet, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, dairy, and sunlight for vitamin D provides everything needed without supplements. In short, vitamins don't give you instant results in the gym, but they act like the support system behind the scenes, ensuring every system in your body works efficiently.